hey guys so so this is my luggage um i got a couple of luck i got a couple of focus i have a couple these are some of my supplies i'll go over that in another video as i mentioned but i don't own anything like this so i went to the dollar um sorry the thrift store and i found this little pot to pack and but this is mine well it's mine now but this is mine okay if you remind if you um are familiar with my my cancun video my back my cancun vlog my birthday vlog when i was in cancun then you know your girl will pop this out okay yeah this was the reason why i bought it for situations like this if i know i'm gonna be somewhere and i don't always want to eat out or if i want to whatever the reason okay get you one of these all right okay all right and then i just plugged it in and ouch oh my gosh that's already automatically hot all right that's a strong power source but let me move this to the bathroom this goes to the bathroom and i guess i'll set this outside for the people to come and get that and i'm gonna toss this it, it's heating up already pop that on the bed so i'm about to go ahead and make that okay something is smoking why are we smoking because i have it on max t you're so slow so it's leaning because one of my things down here came off and i just need to find one but no i do not have any oil i'm gonna cook with the oils from the food so i'm hungry y'all and i don't want to wait to order anything so i'm just gonna cook this so it's already cooked and yeah i'm about to just vlog it so give me a second <laughs> let me put this y'all this is the most comfortable i've ever been with my vlog like this is the most comfortable <laughs> i've ever been so if you can't see the issue now you're the problem okay so i got this down on like let's do let's do a two because i don't and so it's hot like see it's red and i'm gonna put that on there and you guys can see that i need to get another piece I don't know how that happened. Pack it. Coming back from Cancun is what happened with that. So, just wanna. <laughs> People laugh at me when they see this. Like, I don't be playing, okay? I really don't play. Oh my gosh, this is not all the way thought out. What freak? What am I doing? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go run it under some hot water. Ugh, I need that. I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, so y'all, I'm back. Um, after the second thought, it's sitting in water. I went and I put it in some water, and now we're about to see how hot the pot is. Just <laughs> can y'all see that? Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and what the directions say. So this is what I'm about to eat. Um Oh my gosh, this whole bag cannot fit in this little pot. So, I have the packet sitting in water. Y'all know like the sauce packs and stuff? Actually, I'm gonna... No, nah, I'd rather put bottled water in my stuff. That's to be kidding me. But this right here will like help steam it and cook it. It's thawed enough. So, let's just go ahead and know y'all are like girl I'm proud of myself I'm really proud of myself because the 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 way I eat out and I eat out a lot like a lot I'm proud of myself for getting groceries okay even though it was just this and some kale and <laughs> some onion and stuff I need a napkin oh I got the seasoning pack so I was able to go down there and get all of this at the time so we got some salt yes. 
All right, so it's not steaming anymore. I don't know what it's doing, but if I had a lid, it would be in trap heat. But here's some pepper. Let me get another one of those because I got me messed up. <laughs> some more iodized salt. This is horrible. Like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. This is horrible, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Because I would have not been able to take the salt back from the plane. Or would I? Hold on, wait a minute. I wasn't thinking. Like, it, you know, being overwhelmed, you're not thinking. I just kind of made a quick list on the way to the grocery store and tried to stick to that list. And then got things that, you know, I knew I needed. So, this big old glob of flavor. That might be. Show y'all. Yes, y'all, I am sitting here cooking. I'm going to have this in the center so it can get hot so y'all i'm done cooking okay look <laughs> i just think it's i think it's funny but um yeah i'm about to sit here oh what did i do with the remote that fast so that drink let me show y'all what it is settling in so oh it looks brown on camera but it's not brown but the hospital called me to do their like pre-op because obviously I don't go into, you don't go into the hospital to do your pre-op. I guess they call you and I'm not sure how this is for everybody else, but they just called me, asked me a bunch of questions. You know, the question is that you fill out on a piece of paper that's like a lot, you know, um, who in your family got this, who in your family got that. So that's what the sweet lady was asking me and I thought it was my doctor's office call. I mean, I thought it was my surgeon surgeon's office calling me back, but it wasn't. And she was like, so I went straight into asking about the alcohol, but I'm just not going to drink. She was like, usually it's not recommended after a tummy tuck um, to drink alcohol. So, okay. Um, Scott Garvey is calling me. My DUI is supposed to be coming off, so it's a lot of celebration going on. So, good morning, good morning, guys. Good morning. Okay, let me say that again because I'm saying it to myself, y'all. I, all right, listen, I brung my weekend brow, I brung everything. My face is so dry. I, I have to go out and get some type of moisturizer for my face because all my tubes are super big and I didn't if I didn't mention this before in the other vlog I did not pack any I had a nerve to pack some lip stuff some like lip gloss I got my Milani lip gloss and I got my other um dry uh I'm sorry matte lip gloss but I did not get to pack any foundation any moisture anything to make so yeah your girl is out here being really really ghetto with my face and my edges we not even gonna mind your business about my edges right now okay but this is the type of hairstyle that i don't think require any edges but since i got edges they look a little crazy you know they look a little crazy i can take the hair scarf in some water and lay it down so that's what i'm probably about to do um right now i just got up i got myself together this is what i got on i got on some some freaking uh listen <laughs> I got on some pants and I have on a top that I got from Target. I actually got these pants. I think I got these pants from Walmart. And this top I got from Target. I try to make myself look decent today. Okay. Because I want to go after I leave my pre-op appointment. I want to go run some more errands because I feel like I ran out of food. Even though I am going to eat out when I can't move and get up and do anything. And um, yeah. The kale uh chickpea with the tomato i think that's only gonna last me like a day a day because um i eat baby i eat okay and i don't trust that these restaurants will bring me enough kale or anything with a lot of fiber so that i have to do myself so i just got up got myself together 
let's let's get in close on these brows mind you i have no brushes nothing i'm just buffering this out with my fingers i'm buffering this out with my fingers look these are some struggle brows i think i did them too close they look crazy but guess what they don't look sparse i might go fix them up because i feel like that's too close y'all i look i look like how i used to do my makeup in my 20s that's how i look okay but guess what this body is gonna be like it was in my mother freaking saying no. <laughs> this body about to be <laughs> Okay, so that's what we, that's what we care about. <laughs> the face is always going to be beautiful, but anyway, so I want to go to the southernmost point after my pre-op appointment. Right now, it is nine. My pre-op appointment is at ten a.m. It is nine fifteen. So I'm waiting on an Uber. Well, I'm not waiting. I didn't order it yet. I'm going to order it at like nine thirty. So yeah, I just put my hair up in a I, I think I'm a jig, you know, I just tried today. I tried, I tried, I tried. I felt like yesterday I looked super duper duper homie. Okay, I said homie is not gonna look homie today. <laughs> she gonna try to do something. She gonna try to do something. I still got on my pretty little things. Flip flop. I only brought one pair of shoes. I was like, I'm going to Key West. Like, what do I need tinted shoes for? Heels. I'm not doing anything. But I did decide today. I thought about kayaking, but I was like, it's just going to be me. Not that I don't mind that it's just going to be me, but I like to talk. I do talk to myself sometimes. Um. So, yeah, anyway. With that being said, I feel better. I feel good. I'm excited about this pre-op appointment. I'm going to take you guys along with me, of course. And, yeah, um, breakfast. I don't, I don't eat this early in the morning. I start eating at 2 p.m. in the afternoon because I'm intermittent fasting. I don't have to anymore. I feel like I lost enough weight for them to take enough fat. You understand? But, um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I just really want some bottles of water. That's all I want. Um. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah you're fine. All right, awesome. <laughs> I'm just gonna get your vitals. Okay. Are you Destiny? I'm K. You're K. Oh, okay. Nice <laughs> to meet you, K. <laughs> so I'm Do I have this on right? It's front. slit front or slit back? Yeah, open in the front. Okay. Yeah, All right, makes sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Well, have you step on that scale for me when you're ready? Yay. Oh, yeah. Are you on Instagram or? Let me, I'm um, YouTube. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, no, wait, is that really great? Okay. Okay, then you can have a seat up here. Get your blood pressure. I noticed you're from El. So, she just took my vitals and my weight. I'm 164. Okay. We're gonna have to take that down at least 30 more, but so. I'm not exactly at the weight I want to be, but it's better than where I was. Okay, let me tell you guys, these bro. <laughs> anyway, don't pay attention to my brows, but board certified, okay? All right, so we're getting the consent and see if my doctor wants me to record. I'm trying to find a place to prop up the camera. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Is it okay to vlog? What? You're okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. They yeah. might be comfortable with the camera oh. in Miami. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? So, anyway, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are here from where? Maryland. Maryland, okay. Yes. And um, you got uh, you got um, our uh, information initially from the website. If you're fine, we have not, we're not going to be giving you a blood thinner. Have you stand up, please? Let me take a look at you. All right. So with the breast lift, it just makes you firm and perky, just like that. Okay. That's perfect. 
with uh, the lipo, we're going to lipo right back here. So the right fat back. rolls, yeah. they'll be gone? They won't yeah. be gone, but they're going to be smaller. The reason they aren't gone is some of that is a skin roll. It's, it's part of your skin and part of its fat. And all I'm going to do is remove the fat, I'm not taking the skin away. Okay. But so, so they're going to be much smaller, but they're going to, you know, they're still going to have something there. Okay. And then your tummy tuck, the incision is real low. Okay. And then we remove this diamond of skin and fat. This panel right here. Will this be gone? Uh, I'm mess myself up. No, but it's, it's not going to be gone, but it's, when I'm done, it's going to be down here. And what do you do for a living? I'm a YouTuber and I also own a business. So. Okay. I'm trying to get snatched for my birthday. Got to lose this gut. Don't ask me what gut. You in my business? Don't do that. What do, you, <laughs> what do you do as a YouTuber? Well, I vlog. I, I do a lot of hair. And how long are you staying in town for? Till Tuesday. Okay. And then how do you get back home? Fly. Fly. Okay. Yeah. You are by yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hey, ma'am. You in my business? Don't do that. What the fuck? It's our recommendation. Um, we have two recommendations that unfortunately you're breaking both of them. Um, <laughs> the one is that someone someone is immediately available to you on the night of your surgery. Oh, sweet destiny. She offered her, so thank goodness for her. And the second thing is we like people to not travel until they're about a week out from surgery. Um, if you decide that you don't want to follow that recommendation and you fly out on Tuesday, then um, you're going to have to make an arrangement uh, with the, the people on the airplane, letting them know that you just had surgery and you need oh. to you need to stand up as quickly as possible because we don't like you to sit on the plane on the plane for a very long time. Because I got the comfort section. Good. To have more space. That's great. Yeah. And then you need to you need to stand up and walk around as quickly as possible. So as soon as I get on the plane, yeah. like, while they're talking and stuff, yeah. just, okay. Yeah. And then, Walk around, so am I going to be hunched over like this right here? Uh, let's see, Tuesday, your surgery's on Friday, so yeah, you're still going to be bent over. You're bent over for five days. So for five days, you kind of walk like a J. Okay. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I just wanted to make it clear that those are our recommendations, uh, although um, you do what you do. And um, came in today. so, but tomorrow uh, before your surgery, I'm going to mark you. Uh, okay. I'm going to be putting marks on your chest and your tummy and where we're going to lipo. And um, you're going to get a great result. Okay. I, I believe it. Come on. You do a really good job. You make a stomach look like a stomach when it's done. So it's like I'm flying down to his office. So. Did, we, did you ever get one of my books? Did Grab one. Why don't we do that? I'll give you a book. Um, the books are for sale for, I think, $19 on Amazon, mm -hmm. and uh, the same here at the office, but I like all of my patients um, to have, all of the patients that are having a mommy makeover to have one from me as a gift. Oh, thank you. So, oh. there's a chapter in there on each of the procedures you're doing. Okay. So, there's a chapter on lipo, there's a chapter on breast lifts, there's a chapter on tummy tongues. Mm -hmm. It'll tell you exactly how we're doing it and uh, how to recover, how to heal. Okay. So. Oh. And should I have a pillow on the plane? Could I have yes. a pillow? Would it make sense? Yes. Okay. Okay. Here's your book. Yep. You're welcome. And, um, I will be seeing you tomorrow morning. Okay, it was nice meeting nice you. Nice to meet you. Thank good. All right, Boy. have a good night. Thank you, you too, Dr. Lee. Thank you. Okay, and then both sides. So you can turn to either side. You can put your arms at your back like that. Yep, perfect. And the other side. Perfect. Okay. You and with, with, the, with the lipo back here, does it mm -hmm. lift the booty? Um, I don't, it doesn't necessarily lift it, but it will probably make it look bigger because the fat right here is going to be gone, so it'll be smaller. Oh. You know, making your butt maybe look a little bigger. Okay. You know. Huh. Right, for your medications, um, so we're going to give you a prescription for Lortab. This is for pain. Um, you can take extra strength Tylenol if you don't want to do the Lortab. Okay. Kevflex is your antibiotic. 
Okay. This one is the most important. You want to take this the whole time you have drains in. So if you run out, there is a refill on this. Okay. One. Okay. Flex roll is for muscle spasms, and then two Phenergan for nausea. One's a suppository in case you're throwing up, okay. and one's a pill. Here. So I will see you guys in a minute. I'm about to put my clothes on. So I'm excited. I like my doctor. Like I just know these results are gonna be amazing. I can't wait. It's a, it's, it's just happy silence. Happy silence, guys. So the hospital said no weave, and I don't know if this constitutes as weave, but I mean they want me to take out my hair. I can take out my hair, but what else? Let me go ahead and get dressed. So. I can get on with the rest of the day and get everything I needed. I have to go to the CVS. I was able to locate a CVS yesterday. So it is one in that shopping center that I went to yesterday. So I'm not gonna. Every clip should be short because this camera battery is like, okay. So, and I didn't bring my charger with me. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, so I just left. It's over there in those houses back there. So I'm on my way to this Wells Fargo. Y'all, it feels good out here. It said it was gonna be cloudy and the Sears and the Publix I think is over there. They go, they were close by. So I'm gonna run to this ATM and get the cash because the bus drivers yesterday was like, this is not Miami and we do not do that stop and go stuff. And it's like, okay. Oh, and you're not just gonna like let me on so yeah i'm about to get some cash out the atm something i should have done at home and gone about my business and go and get these prescriptions filled so i have this it feels so weird vlogging in a place that you know so i have this and All I'm taking in my surroundings, so I keep pausing, paying attention, because you know, black women are murdered every six hours, so. Yeah, kind of do wish my dad was here. I miss him, but I don't know. I guess I can just run over there, if y'all can see. This is serious. Over there. Oh, let me put this down while I do my business. So y'all, here's the TV Max. And there's Publix right there. That's Publix. So, yeah, I just went to the ATM at Wells Fargo and I just left. I got a pretty much a goodie bag with my prescription, a book from Dr. Lawson, and some other stuff. Oh, it's books and stuff. <sighs> oh, here's the China Garden. I wanted to get something from there. I gotta see, or I might just order delivery. I don't know. Trying to see what else is over there. It looked like a Baskin Robbins. I can get some coffee. So I'll holler at you guys in the next clip. That's too good. Well, I can use it. Thank you. Y'all have a pharmacy in here. Y'all have a pharmacy. Right to my right. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Oh, thanks. I know they got a pharmacy. Let's see what we can. Right here. Drop off. Look at me. I am on the bus stop. Wait. Okay. That's how it's supposed to be. But yeah. Um. I got my money and I got all these bags. So I'm gonna just run this stuff back to the hotel room. It is like 12, 20 in the afternoon. It's like still early. So I'm just gonna drop this stuff off and then come back out and get my prescription. I have a couple bags. So yeah, let me go. 